Hello, I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Welcome to Silent Sunday Nights here on Turner Classic Movies. Tonight we're taking a look at a drama from MGM in 1927. It's Captain Salvation, starring Swedish actor Lars Hansen. Hansen plays a young man who's been studying for the ministry, but his faith in Christianity is shaken when he witnesses his small seaside community turn against a helpless woman who's been branded a sinner. In the mid-1920s, Lars Hansen found a niche in movies playing tormented men of the cloth. He broke through as an international star, playing a defrocked priest in the Swedish film Eusta Berling Saga. That was also the movie that introduced audiences to Greta Garbo. And within two years, both Garbo and Hansen were working in Hollywood, starring in films at MGM. In his American debut, Lars Hansen played yet another tortured reverend in the 1926 adaptation of The Scarlet Letter, co-starring Lillian Gish. He also made two films in Hollywood with Greta Garbo, Flesh and the Devil, which paired Garbo and John Gilbert together for the first time, and The Divine Woman, released two years later in 1928. While Garbo went on to have a successful career in Hollywood well into the sound era, that wasn't the case for Lars Hansen. He appeared in only a handful of American films in the late 1920s before returning to Sweden. He felt that his heavy Swedish accent was going to make it difficult for him to keep his career going in talking pictures in the U.S. He continued to work in Swedish films into the 1940s. Here he is in 1927, also with Marceline Day, Pauline Stark, and Ernest Torrance, from director John S. Robertson, Captain Salvation. The villainous ship captain in Captain Salvation was played by Ernest Torrance, a Scottish actor whose towering physique, dark eyes, and rugged face lent well to playing villains and heavies on screen. Ernest Torrance was also adept at comedy, and he gave an especially memorable performance playing Buster Keaton's father, the riverboat captain, in Keaton's 1928 comedy, Steamboat Bill Jr. Torrance's range of talents didn't end there. Early on, he had worked as a concert pianist, musical comedy star, opera singer, and character actor on Broadway. He finally made his feature film debut in 1919, following in the footsteps of his older brother, actor David Torrance. Ernest continued to work consistently in Hollywood throughout the 1920s, playing prominent roles in silent films like Peter Pan, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and King of Kings. He also made a smooth transition to talking pictures, including playing Professor Moriarty in the 1932 version of Sherlock Holmes. And he kept working up until his death in 1933. Up next, I'm turning it over to Alicia Malone with this week's TCM Import. Be sure to join me again next week when Silent Sunday Nights returns. I'm your host, Jacqueline Stewart. Thanks for watching. Next on TCM, where is the friend's house? Then taste of cherry. And later, goodbye, Mr. Chips. School's out on TCM Today.